Hi students, welcome to another video of Smartly Learn. In this video too, let's continue to see about splitting the middle term. Let's take the input function 2p squared plus p minus 15. So I'm going to draw a factor tree for 2 into minus 15, which is 30. Let's start with the number after which we will place the sign. So 30 can be split as 2 into 15 because that's what we have seen here. 30 can be split as 10 into 3. 30 can also be split as 6 into 5. For us, 6 fives are 30 and 6 minus 5 will fetch a plus 1. So now let's assign the signs. I need the product as minus 30. The sum has to be plus 1, which means I place the plus sign to the 6 and the minus sign to the 5. Now let's split the middle term. 2p squared plus 6p minus 5p minus 15. Between the first two terms, take the 2p outside. So it is 2p into p plus 3. Between the last two terms, take minus 5 outside so that you get a p plus 3. Now, the p plus 3 is common in both the cases. So, I'm taking that outside. So, it is p plus 3 into 2p minus 5. So, 2p squared plus p minus 15 can be split as p plus 3 into 2p minus 5. Now, let's take one more example, 6x squared minus x minus 15. So I have to write a product tree for 15 into 6, which is 90. So 90 can be split as 15 into 6 because that's how we calculate it. So one factor pair is already taken care of. So 90 can also be split as 9 into 10. 9 into 10 works for us because the difference is 1. So let's start placing the signs. So the product is minus 90. I need the sum as minus 1. So minus 90 is plus 9 and minus 10. Now let's start splitting this. So 6x squared plus 9x minus 10x minus 15. Between the first two terms, the common term I'm taking is 3x. So this gives me a 2x plus 3. And between the last two terms, I'm taking minus 5 outside, getting a 2x plus 3 inside. Now that the 2x plus 3 is common, let's take that out. So that fetches a 3x minus 5. In this example, x has a coefficient in both the terms. As I said before, at least one term should have a coefficient if you have a coefficient for the x squared term. So 6x squared minus 6 minus 15 is split as 2x plus 3 into 3x minus 5. Now let's take one more example. 5a squared minus 4a minus 9. So in this case, the factor has to be drawn for 9 fives of 45. So 9 fives of 45 and that itself fetches the middle term because 9 minus 5 is 4. So now let's assign the signs minus 45 I need with a sum as minus 4a. So the minus sign goes to the 9 and the plus sign goes for the 5. Now let's split the middle term. So 5a squared minus 9a plus 5a minus 9. Please note in whichever order I write the middle term, it is okay. You will still end up getting the same answer. So between these two terms, the only term that I have common is the a. So let me take the a outside. This gives me a 5a minus 9. Between the last two terms, I have nothing in common, so I take that as 1. So this also gives a 5a minus 9. So now this is 5a minus 9 is common, so let me take that out, which is 5a minus 1 into a plus 1. And for those who have a doubt, if I reorder the middle term like this, let me write it again, 5a squared plus 5a minus 9a 
minus 9. I just changed the order. So now see how the split happens. So I'm going to take the 5a common. So you get to have a a plus 1. Here I take minus 9 outside. So you get to have a a plus 1. Now I take the a plus 1 common. You get a 5a minus 9. So whichever order you write the middle terms, you will still end up getting the same answer. So 5a squared minus 4a minus 9 is equal to a plus 1 into 5a minus 9. In the next video also, we will continue to see more challenging examples of how to split the middle term. Please extend your support to me by subscribing to my channel Smartly Learn. You can also reach out to me through my website www.smartlylearn.in for more practice worksheets. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.